On Monday, Austin Butler and Matt Smith were spotted on the set of their new film Caught Stealing, sporting pretty colorful costumes. Alongside director Darren Aronofsky, the 33-year-old Butler and the 41-year-old Smith were sighted on the New York City set on Monday. Butler was seen kissing co-star Zoe Kravitz earlier this month in New York City, while filming was still going on. Butler was spotted on Monday during filming, sporting a dark gray pair of pants, black puma sneakers, and a turquoise dress shirt. On Monday, he was seen filming scenes with Smith inside a primer gray automobile. He also wore a black coat. During one shot of the film adaptation of Charlie Houston's 2005 novel of the same name, Butler also rested while seated in a camera setup. On the other hand, Smith had a completely distinct style, highlighted by a vibrant maroon and yellow mohawk on his head. In addition, he was dressed in a dull, patterned gray overcoat that he wore underneath a black t-shirt, torn flannel pants, and black combat boots. Smith conversed with co-star Butler in their on-set recliners in between shots while sporting a red and black flannel sweatshirt. They were filming at Queens Flushing Meadows Corona Park, where the famous Unisphere building, built for the 1964 World Fair, was visible in the distance. For whatever reason, Butler and Smith were rushing from their gray automobile in one of the pictures they were filming. The movie centers on Hank Thompson, a former baseball player played by Butler, who becomes entangled in the criminal underworld of 1990s New York City. Although it's unknown what role Smith will play in the movie, he joined the cast back in August. Liev Schreiber, Griffin Dunn, Vincent D'Onofrio, Regina King, and Bad Bunny are also part of the cast. Houston, the screenwriter, wrote the script that Aronofsky will direct. Aronofsky, along with Jeremy Dawson, Dylan Golden, and Ari Handel will produce. The movie will be distributed by Sony Pictures. However, a release date has not been announced. Smith recently wrapped season two of HBO's House of the Dragon, while Butler recently wrapped up Dune, part two and Masters of the Air.